Eric, what are we doing here today? Custom making Trevor's Pearl. We're over here at DNS Paint Center today and uh, having some issues picking out a color. Sometimes when I don't know what color I'm gonna paint a car, I just come down here and we spend like an hour playing around with stuff and we figure it out. So this is basically a pearl just to go over some white. When I initially thought of this car, I've always kind of pictured it as white and like a really clean white. And I've always wanted to paint a pearl white and I've never actually painted a pearl white for something that I've like kept. So I think I painted like a fender on something before. So we're gonna mix this up and spray this on a uh, little white spray out card. We're gonna see how it turns out. You like it? I think it's gonna be sweet. So this isn't like an actual color. This is just a, this is a custom mix color. We're just gonna kind of come up with our own little, basically we're just gonna come up with a white and then we're gonna mix our own amount of pearl and then call it good. I think if this turns out nice. Eric painted his glove. That looks crazy. Hmm. And then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna paint it over some white and see what it looks like. It's too bright. I can't I can't tell. That's just one coat. Too. Usually you need about three. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can't even. All right, so you guys probably can't see this unless you can see it and I can't. So there's three coats, two coats, and one coat. So we're gonna let this thing dry to kind of see the differences. From like certain angles, they look similar, but then from this one, you can definitely see that top one. The three coats has lots of pearlies. Yeah, lots it needs of, three coats. And then we're also going to do it over uh, over black too. See what that looks like. All right, now we're painting this over black. Ooh. <laughs> All right. We so can this. You tint the brown out of that. Oh, can you? So this is over black. So it's three coats, two coats, one coat. But it, if on this angle of it, it almost goes to like a gunmetal gray. And then straight on, it just looks like it's like lime green. Say with fake clear. And I'll let you. Hmm. All right, and so this is the black right there, and from that angle, it's like a pink, like it almost looks like a like a rose gold. But then you look at it on the face and it's green. You look at it from this side and it's charcoal gray. What'd you do, Eric? I don't know. Did you discover a new color today? I think we did. Motion auto green. Whatever that is. <laughs> Say bye bye to the, the pearl. Down the hatch. So we like that one, but not 100% sold on it so far. So I'd like to take a look at this is the cosmic turquoise. A little bit more turquoisey. The other one kind of went from green to pink. This is a, uh, a blue pearl. I kind of want to see what the turquoise looks like, though. Because this is the one that we just did, which was the Tropic Sunrise. And that's the one that went from green to pink. I just want to do it for me. All right, we're back at the drawing board. We're going to do two more. Turquoise and the Murano. Murano blue. And then after that, I think it's, I think it's, I don't know. I don't know what you did with that black, but... It, it turned out pretty cool. It's trick. But I like it. I really, I am kind of a big fan of the white. So we're going to see the turquoise and then we're going to see the blue. We're going to spray them both out too. So again, like I said, I, I have no clue on what actual color, like before we walked in here, the, but I think we're getting close. That's what I like about Eric is, you know, he just takes the time and this is like the special treatment. Do I get a special treatment? Oh, dude. VIP. VIP. VIP treatment. What do you think? Yeah. This is Murano turquoise. You can see that one's kind of turquoise. Can you get it? And then that one's kind of blue. That's it. picking it up, is it? All right, so this is the, which one was this one? Uh, Murano, Murano blue. Over white. Murano blue pearl over white. I think that one looks kind of the most classy. 
but custom. But custom, yeah. It looks like classy, I but like custom. It. So then we got the other ones over here. So he's going to go ahead and throw another coat on it, and then we're going to throw them all together, and we'll, we'll pick. We'll spin the wheel. We'll flip a coin. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd want to pick a whole card on Yeah. All right, so we don't know. I, I'm having a really hard time. I, I, I honestly like them both. What do you think of them both? I like them both. So really my good. brothers came up with the idea that we're just gonna flip a uh, flip a coin. So heads is blue and the turquoise is tails. So go ahead and just flip it up in the. Air. Oh, you're doing it. You're doing it like that. All right, so it's tails. How did you think I was gonna do it? I, it I thought you were just gonna drop it on the ground and let it. Do you let want it, me to drop it on the ground? I don't. I don't know. They do it in a football games, so I think we should do that. They drop just drop it, it, on the the ground? Ground? it on the ground. Yeah, yeah, All right. So this is. Right. So we already had a tails. This Go ahead. Is a Ooh. Heads. So. Blue it is, I guess. I like that blue, anyways. Mess you up. Mm -hmm. So Such a clean <clears throat> flop to it on that one. It looks gives it a nice just purple almost. So Eric, when we were gone, he was messing around. So he basically sprayed the pearl, straight that blue pearl over black, and it gave us this. And then what he did is he added some blue candy to the basically the clear mid coat, and he put that in here. Are you gonna open that up? Just added a couple drops of blue candy to that mid coat and sprayed it over black and that's what got us that right there so that is i don't know that's crazy all right guys so this is all the paint and everything that i got for the, the evo so we got two quarts of white sealer three quarts of white we have three quarts of the mid coat we have a gallon of uh 2021 clear uh, so that's the good stuff from uh, from PPG. That's the Deltron the Really good clear. So I've never actually used this. I've always used the the DC 3000 which is the Deltron It's the quick clear. It's more of a panel clear, but since we're doing a whole car I'm, I'm kind of curious to experiment with that see how that turns out. Uh, we got some good reducer got some more icing Yeah, just working away on this thing right now. We are currently wet sanding it seam sealed some of the stuff in the back did the door jams and uh, now we basically just need to finish wet sanding it and get it ready for some paint. And this is our 700 horsepower Evo giveaway car and it is actually getting picked up today. So just went ahead, cleared out all the stuff, took the license plates and everything off of it. We went ahead and shipped out the title and the check and it is going to Nahum in Florida. So he was the official winner of our Evo giveaway and the $10,000 cash. So it is getting picked up on a semi here in a couple minutes. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it is uh, it is departing. And uh, yeah, he is the official winner. He got all his documents and everything confirmed. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of uh, of this giveaway. I know that you know a lot of you guys wish that we would have done a little bit more content or it would have been more of a, like a motion auto build other than something that we kind of bought and gave away. Uh, so we do have some plans for another giveaway. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of curious what you guys think of the giveaways. You know, pretty stoked for for Nahum on this. We are planning on going out to Florida within the next month or so. We're just gonna film some stuff with him, go drive it together, film his reactions and you know, all that stuff. He'll probably already have the car by then, or obviously he'll already have the car by then. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan just due to um, our schedules and stuff. So yeah, getting into this whole paint situation right here. So this was about $1,200 worth of paint. Yeah, I mean, just in, in materials alone, I spent probably, probably about another 200, two to $300 you know, between primer and body filler and paint for the engine bay and all that other type of stuff, seam sealer. There's a lot of stuff that goes in here. So let's just call this 15 to $1,600 in paint materials, not even including sandpaper and stuff. There's probably about $100 or more of sandpaper that we actually used on this thing right here. Plus, I would say we have about 80 hours, if not more in paint and body work on just the car, not even welding in the floor pan and doing the engine bay and doing all that other stuff. So Sean's basically been working on it for about two weeks solid between him and I. And honestly, it's probably a little bit more. It's probably about a hundred hours in literally just sanding and doing body work on this thing. So if you add that a typical body shop, 
If you just take it somewhere, they're going to be charging you between $40 and $60 an hour. So, you know, that's about $4,000 plus, let's see, $1,700 in paint. Yeah, that's basically a, a paint job. So this, this would cost a body shop, you know, or if you went to a body shop, something like this would, I would say, between six dollars and $12,000 to do the paint and body work and do a full basically jam and respray and all that stuff uh, with me doing it and us doing it ourselves. I do pay Sean. I know a lot of you guys think he's like volunteering or something around here. Obviously, I pay him a salary and I pay Blake and I pay Ty. I pay myself out of the business for all this stuff. So with Sean's hours and everything that we have with him, just his labor in this car, as of right now, I'd, I'd probably have to add it up. All right, guys, Evo is getting loaded up on uh, this enclosed trailer and headed to Florida. So he should have this thing April 1st. So pretty stoked for him. This is going to be my last goodbye. He's got to pull out another car and then he's going to go ahead and load this thing up in there. But uh, yeah, again, congratulations to Nahum and uh, we will be seeing him shortly in uh, in Florida to kind of finish up a uh, like a little video with him. So I'm stoked. All right, guys, so another thing that we need to do before we paint this Evo over here, obviously we need to finish wet sanding it and doing the doors and all that other stuff. But on the back of this front fender over here, there is actually some cracks right here in the edge. Um, this is where we did a little bit of body work. And I don't know, I, I'm not sure exactly what was uh, what happened there, but messing with the new welder, playing with... Uh, with the aluminum so i was playing with this i had it sticking out too far and then i think my gas was running out so i went and i got the bottle refilled so i started to improve and then i was just kind of playing around a bunch over here with it so i think i got the settings and everything all right i think i'm going to turn it down though because it's it's way up there and uh we'll see how this uh how this thing welds or if i blow a big old hole in this in this fender all right so we got that welded not the greatest, we'll have to grind off a little bit of this filler around it, but it's, uh, it's welded. It's not cracked anymore, so that's good. <laughs> Grinded them down. They look pretty good. So, it's way better than having cracked fenders. <laughs> 